Welcome to the first edition of Rooster TV for 2019 and we thought we'd better start at the top and grab the uh, Premiership captain from uh, last year who's going on again, Maxie Thring. Max, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Daryl. Obviously, uh, it's been a, been a hard summer for you guys out in the park. Um, can you just talk us through the pre-season and what the guys got up to? Yeah, it's been a good pre-season, Tubbs. Um, a lot of fresh faces and uh, new players, so you know, it brings excitement to the group. Um, as far as you know, individual pre-season, I had a bit of an interrupted one, so um, as far as what they did, I'm not too sure, Tubbs, but um, by all accounts, by all the senior players, um, it, was, it was a solid pre-season and the boys are feeling fit and ready, Tubbs. I think you've just played the veterans card nicely this year, mate. And, uh, <laughs> didn't play any trials, Maxi, but he got himself up for round one and uh, performed strongly yesterday. We'll get on to that a bit later. But um, we're here at Prospect again. We've got Brenton Phillips, a uh, McGarry medalist at the footy club out here, coaching the under-13s, uh, mm. creating a nice pathway for those guys to get through to uh, league level. Um, some new blokes that have come to the club this year in our recruits. Um, do you want to go through a few of those? And, and yeah, mate. Tell, tell um, we've going? obviously got uh, Jake Need, who uh, most people know um, from... Uh, the power squad um, in the AFL, and he's he's uh, you know thrived off uh, the preseason. He's he came and um, yeah he, he looked good, and he's gotten a lot fitter. And um, he played on the weekend round one, and um, I thought he looked strong over the ball. Um, he's got some tricks, needy, and um, he'll be great for us this year. Another one's um, Ben Jarman from the Crows. Um, he's coming back to North Adelaide. I think he's played three league games before, so he adds a bit of uh, experience and um, and uh, livelihood to the to the group. And he's got a lot of tricks himself too. So there's two. Uh, Ford pockets for you. Um, another one is yeah, is Bill Laurie, my cousin. He's uh, from Keith. Um, another one we saw from George, so he'd be pretty upset by that. But um, he's a, he's a he's a six foot five sort of operator, left footer, um, plays down back, and um, a really good replacement for uh, some of the people we've lost in, in Wilkie and um, the big fella, the ruckman, uh, Jordan Sweet. Um, who, who else are there, Tubbs? Big Blairy. Big Blairy, of course. Um, perfect replacement for Jordan Sweet. He's 206 six centimetres tall, and um, I think it's his second go at uh, second year at football, so AFL, and um, he, he's coming along real, real, really well. Um, he played on the weekend, round one, and um, I thought he was, he thought it was really good. And obviously, you just mentioned we lost a, a lot of young talent to the draft with five uh, of our Premiership uh, stars leaving. Um, a few young guys that have stepped up at pre-season that uh, you think we'll see throughout the year. Yeah, um, uh, James James Schwartz. Um, he's never too far from the front uh, in, in regards to running. Um, on the weekend, he played in the in the twos, and he I think he had 35 disposals and um, looked very good. Um, so he's pushing for selection this week. And um, Jared Deep, um, one that we got from. Sydney last year from um, New South Wales. He's, he's coming along nicely. He played a few league games last year and he's around the mark too as a, as a strong winger. Um, another one would be Fraser Driscoll. He's had an excellent pre-season. Um, played very well in the trial games and um, he's, he's right around the mark too. So we've got a lot of young talent coming through and um, you know it's exciting times here at uh, Prospect. And we'll probably move on to the game yesterday obviously round one we went down to uh, Woodville Oval and uh, played the Eagles who were a very strong unit um, didn't get the result we're after but uh, just talk us through the game what your thoughts were yeah um, I thought it was a pretty pretty below par game to be honest from us um, a little bit below average not what we uh, we expected um, I thought we were a bit mundane um, our skills going forward were, were pretty poor tubs um, and in front of goal I think we kicked eight goals 17 so you're not going to win too many games like that, but um, oh look, it's round one. I'm not sure how much you can take out of it, but um, you know we got to bounce back this week against West Adelaide, and um, I'm confident we'll do that. And training for this week for West Adelaide, what's on the what's on the cards tonight? Um, well, recovery tonight, Tubbs, because we played yesterday, so there's a few sore bodies around after round one. But um, just getting the vibe up, you know, getting the chat up. We got a lot of new faces and uh, a young blood in the, in the group. So Wednesday night in our main session, that's going to be our main focus, and, and just getting getting the love back and um, yeah, just getting the vibe up. Perfect, Maxi. As Maxi said, we've got our first home game for the season here at Prospect Oval on Saturday. We'll un unfurl the uh, Premiership flag. So we've got the triple header again. The uh, the reserves start 10.30 in the morning. The league game is at 1.10 and then we have the women at 3.45 who have uh, strung a couple of wins together and looking pretty strong. So hopefully we see a big, big crew of red and white people here on uh, Saturday and uh, we get a win and uh, you can all have a beer to celebrate. Absolutely. Thanks, Maxie. Thanks. Wow.